this is so Welcome cool. replay viewers and also viewers watching on mathwithmatthew.com. I have done some scopes before about the importance of math literacy um, in the household. We spend a lot of time doing math. I'm um, so we doing like reading and writing at home. We do reading with our kids. We need to also find time to do math literacy in the classroom, in the home. So what we are going to do today is we're going to do an example of math literacy at home. And one of the games that I like to play with my kids is called cribbage. It was a game that I grew up playing. And we're going to see as we're going to demonstrate with my son, Alexander, who's five years old, who's almost six. We're going to see about how playing the game of cribbage, a fun game that he really enjoys playing, really builds some uh, conceptual understanding, some basic fundamental literacy skills. Thank you, Anne-Marie, for coming on and watching and for sharing it on Twitter. <clears throat> so the way the game Cribbage is played is that you, you get four cards, you do some counting, and then you count your points based on 15s and runs. So we're going to now turn the game over to Alexander, and we are going to watch how playing the game of Cribbage actually builds some math knowledge. We go to Alexander. So we've already dealt the cards. So he has his cards. The cut card came up of the nine. Alexander is green and I am red. And now we start the play of the card. So Alexander, you're gonna play your card first and we're gonna see the math literacy involved in this game. So what's your- Seven. Card? Starts with a seven. Okay, great. 17. Uh, wait, so Seven. No, go ahead. So if it were 10 to be 27, so it's an 8, so count it. Go ahead, put the 8 down. Now count it up. 25. Very good. 25. Now it's my turn. You can only go up to 31, so I play up ace since a 26. Thank you for joining. Thank you those of you who are just joining. Feel free to share this scope on uh, with your Twitter followers or with other people scoping. We're talking about math literacy here, and we're playing the game of cribbage with my five-year-old son, Alexander, and we're seeing about how just playing fun games at home, you can really build some uh, math um, understanding, some counting, uh, some adding skills. So we're at 26. Alexander, can you play? Go. He says go because he has no cards that would be six or less. So I get one point for the go. We flip the cards over, and we start again. Thank you, Dushak, for joining and seeing about our math literacy here. Karina Lopez, thank you for joining, seeing math literacy. We're doing a game of cribbage. It's Alexander. Ed, thank you for joining. And Alexander, it's your play? Nine. Nine. And I play a 10 for 19. 29? Not 29. It'd be a 10 if it's 29. Oh. So it's 19. 28. 29. If it, it's 19, so if you put a 10 down, it would be 29. So it's a 9, so it would be 1 less than 29. 28. Very good, Alexander. 28, so that's a go for me. So now you tip one point for the go, and Alexander is winning. And then I'm going to play my last card. Now where the real good math comes in right now is when he counts his, <coughs> counts his points. You get points for making what, Alexander? Fifteen. Fifteens and runs, runs and pairs. So let's see him count the points. Could you put your cards down? Alexander has a very good hand. Where's your last card? Here's your other nine. So let's find out your fifteens. Thank you, everybody, for joining in and watching. We're playing cribbage, and we're building math literacy here, doing a fundamental math calculations in a fun way that you enjoy. Alexander, do you enjoy playing cribbage? Yes. Do you ask me to play it every day? Yes. Good. Okay, so show me. Do you have any 15s? 15 for 2. 15 for 2. The 8 and the 7 make 15. Okay, now do you have any runs? 5, what, 6. Well, you're starting at 15, 2, so the next one start at 3. 3, 4, 5. The 7, 8, 9 make a run of 3, so you're at 5 points. 6, 7, 8. 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. A yep. pair for 13. Uh, a pair for 13, good. A pair for 15. A pair for 16. Oh, 17. You're 17. at 15, so 17. 
Very good counting. So take your 17 points. Come over here and take your 17 points. We're going to have you count your crib. And then I'm going to talk for one more minute about the scope. So he's practicing his counting here. He was doing his 15s. He was looking at runs. He was, in a sense, skip counting. Also, you'll notice he was skip counting because it wasn't always just counting by one. He was skip counting by twos and by threes. And now let's look at your crib. We have the nine. And go ahead and put all your cards down so everybody can see. Okay, so here's your crib. So now he has to kind of figure out if he has any 15s and any runs here. Alexander, do you have any 15s? Yes. What do you have? 15 for two. Okay, do you have any pairs or runs? Yeah. No. No, Nicholas says yes, but it's really no. So take your two points. <clears throat> so one of the things that, um, I mean, I'm a math teacher. Uh, I'm a math administrator here. One of the things that I really like to do in my home is not only spend time doing reading and writing, but we like to focus on math and math literacy. And it really helps the kids uh, think about their skills, uh, think about the way they think about math, and in a fun way. I don't sit around and drill the kids on their multiplication tables. We just do fun games. Uh, and that's the way we focus on doing math. So for our last hand, Alexander, will you count my points for me in my hand? Sure. Let's see if we can practice counting the points in this hand. If anybody has any questions who is watching the scope, I would love to answer any questions about uh, the game of cribbage or math literacy or the things that I'm doing with uh, my kids. I have a yeah, daughter, really Emily, good. who's seven. Alexander is five, almost six, and Nicholas is two. So, Alexander, why don't you count it, and then we'll see if there's any questions. Fifteen for two. The seven, the eight, make fifteen. Five, six, Hold seven. Hold on, you're at two, so build off of two. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, and a... Pair for seven? Very good, because you skip six and write to seven. So give Daddy, who's losing right now, the points, seven points. And now we're focusing on counting seven. Nice job skipping right ahead. Okay, so those of you who are watching the scope, any questions for myself or for Alexander? Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching the scope. And I'm going to try to do scopes very often at 8 o'clock, normally at night, on weeknights. Um, talking about important issues within math education. Um, and thanks so much for watching.